as always, and welcome to Roma Hog Tempera. On this episode of Roma Hog Tempera, our main topic is the opening of the new Coliseum, the Flavian Amphitheatre. Today, Jesus will be hosting a Monero. Let's go over to my colleague who is at the scene. Gracias, Felix. Well, it's a beautiful day here on the east side of the Palatine Hill, and the turnout for the grand opening of the Flavian Amphitheatre, where the Coliseum is fantastic. The Coliseum was made to only hold 50,000 people, yet 80,000 are here to observe today. I can look up and see thousands. Hundreds just sitting on the roof to try and watch the events. Titus, our emperor, son of Vespasian, has declared that not just one day will be spent on the celebration, but 100. More people from all over are expected to show up for the event. Wow, that's amazing. Felix, I'm standing here with a very famous gladiator who will be participating in the first fight. Quit on your podium, today, Arthur. I go Optima, and I'm ready to win all my battles today. <laughs> How do you feel about getting to be one of the Wait, first yeah. gladiators to fight in the Coliseum? It's such an honor to be chosen to participate in the first fight ever to take place in the Coliseum. What kind of gladiator now, are you? I am a Mermolanes. Really? Tell me about that. Well, Mermolanes are gladiators that carry a shield and a sword, along with a helmet and a fish on their crest. We are very well armored and carry a lot of protection. I think I definitely have a good chance to win the game. A slave can certainly not be a trained gladiator like myself. Tell me about your training. Well, our training is very harsh and tough, but we learn to master the skill of fighting with our sword and protecting ourselves with our heavy armor. I train with the best at Campus Marti. Wow, well thank you very much for talking with us today. Good luck in your fight. Now back to you, Bill. Gracias, Felix. Well, it's a beautiful day here on the east side of the Palatine Hill, and the turnout for the grand opening of the Flavian Amphitheater, where the Colosseum is fantastic. The Colosseum was made to only hold 50,000 people, yet 80,000 are here to observe today. I can look up and see thousands, hundreds just sitting on the roof to try and watch. Titus, our emperor, son of Vespasian, has declared that not just one day will be spent on the celebration, but 100. More people from all over are expected to show up for the event. Wow, that's amazing. Felix, I'm standing here with a very famous gladiator who will be participating in the first fight. Quit on your podium, today, Arthur. I go Optima, and I'm ready to win all my battles today. <laughs> How do you feel about getting to be one of the first gladiators to fight in the Coliseum? It's such an honor to be chosen to participate in the first fight ever to take place in the Coliseum. What kind of gladiator are you? I am a Mermolanes. Really? Tell me about that. Well, Mermolanes are gladiators that carry a shield and a sword, along with a helmet and a fish on their crest. We are very well armored and carry a lot of protection. I think I definitely have a good chance to win the game. A slave can certainly not be a trained gladiator like myself. Tell me about your training. Well, our training is very harsh and tough, but we learn to master the skill of fighting with our sword and protecting ourselves with our heavy armor. I train with the best at Campus Marti. Wow, well thank you very much for talking with us today. Good luck in your fight. Right. Now back to you, Felix. Good afternoon, Felix. I'm here with Matt. Quid August, Matt. I'll go bring the drink. So I hear that you have a big fight later today. Tell me about that. Well, today I will be fighting a gladiator by the name of Arthur. He is a weak I am much faster than he, since he is a big slave. I believe I will definitely win today. Wow, I hear those Mermolandes are very dangerous. What kind of gladiator are you? I am a race yard. I use a fight using dagger, trident. Why do you carry a trident? In Egypt, some fighters use a trident as a weapon in their battles, but I carry it as strong as a great dog in the sea. Nice. How did you come to be a gladiator? I am a slave. I was a prisoner of war, along with my entire village, when Rome captured our town. We all became gladiators, <clears throat> and now only the best are left. Wow, Mona Fontana. It was nice talking to you, Max. Now we will see you again after this short break. Are you tired of going to the bathroom and gossiping to one another? Well, now you can go to the Coliseum to go.
Welcome back. As we continue the show, we will continue to explore the Coliseum and gladiators who will be fighting you today. Let us go over to Rosa, who is going to fill us in on the interior of the Well, let me tell you, Felix, this place is amazing. The circumference of this place is 1,788 feet. It's 187 feet high and at six acres in area. Under the Coliseum are two more levels in which there are a large network of tunnels, 32 animal pens and 80 vertical shafts that lead up straight to the surface where the arena is. On the floor of the Coliseum, where the fighting happens, there are 36 trap doors to elaborate special effects during the show. Now, Rosa, what is the white stuff we see on the floor of the arena behind you? Is that sand? Yes, Felix, it is sand. They put sand on the floor of the arena because it absorbs liquid very well. Therefore, it will absorb the blood of the wounded fighters. Some BCRE fighters that were interviewed the other day told us a little about the animals and beast fights that occur in the Colosseum. Many of the animals that are fought in the Colosseum come from all over the Roman Empire. Some of them include lions, tigers, hyenas, hippos, rhinos, crocodiles, ostriches, antelopes, bears, and zebras, says Kateritu. This sounds like a very dangerous sport. It is a very dangerous sport. When the gladiators fight, they must always fight to the death. It is very rare that they will not fight to the death and allow their opponent to live. Well, it looks like the fight is about to begin. 